Get him. Yes, yes. Get him. Get him. He's dancing. He's dancing. He's going, going. Dude, we literally <laughs> just pulled up in the truck and Zach is down here absolutely <laughs> bowed up on this slime cat rod. And we are freaking tight, boys. Let's go, boys. We have not been in the great potato state <laughs> for freaking that. an hour and we're already hooked up. Let's go, baby. Coming up, coming like up. Does he jump? That's, keep him bowed, boys. Come on, let's go. What's up? Good to Got see the fresh cut. It's good to see you, boys. Up, you guys ready for some live action? Oh, yeah. I guess. I don't know. But well, let's go. Yeah. How are you guys sick, like in Idaho? That's How was the flight? It was, it was my Long. first time ever flying. It was sick. This is my favorite part of the trip so far. I had literally just thrown it out. Freaking trout head. Just a head. Really? Yep. Here you go. That's so sick. Oh, yeah. I want to see it. Right. We literally just pulled up to the fishing spot. I've not been on the ground for 45 minutes. Jake and Zach right there, baby. We pulled up, put the cart, the truck in park. Zach is bowed up, hands over the rod, and we are tight on our target fish already. Oh, hell yes. Boy! That's so sick, dude. I can't, I can't believe it. I was literally like... You can't write that, dude. dude you cannot I, write that. I know. Dude. Man. Fighting an absolute dinosaur. I cannot believe. I guys, I can tell you that this fish has been on my bucket list since I was wee little. Dreaming of sturgeon. And there's so many fish. Get closer, huh? Yeah. So many fish since I was just since we started this business that I thought I'd never see. I mean sharks in general. I did not grow up on the coast. Yellowfin tuna great white sharks and then now another really top list bucket fish is on the other end of my line i just have to make sure i close this fight out cruising boy <laughs> look at him he's cruising. he's cruising hurry up jerk him off me man he's kiting the beach he's kiting the beach i got you i got you <laughs> yeah. no you're good i don't know holy don't know. smokes Ooh. Ooh. i'm gonna cry. i don't know this. Oh my gosh, dude. Let's go. Holy smokes. Oh yeah, boys. That's a nice fish. Hold on, hold on. Don't freak uh, let him go. Oh, yeah, I'm not. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Oh, it's so hard not to grab yeah, that yeah. tail. That's a nice fish. That's a nice yeah. fish. That's a big fish. That's a good one, boys. All right, we have seen this fish right about three times now, right where Adam is standing. And this girl is just parking the bus on me. I mean, this slam cat rod puts a lot of pressure. And she is just parked up so we're being really patient because this isn't shark fishing you can't wrap up on 1200 pound mono and put the beans to them so you got to be patient with these dinosaur fish they're doing what they want to do and then as the angler you just kind of guide them you just kind of guide them and uh, we're going to wait for opportunity what adam is looking for, oh my gosh I'm like Dude, that's a good i am fish. absolutely shaking right now it's just it's one of those things there's things in life when you look at it whatever it is it's a mountain it's a big fish. It's, I don't, I don't know, a cool truck, whatever, get your boat afloating. And uh, you just can't quite, and the first time you see it, you just can't, your mind cannot comprehend what you're seeing because it's something so brand new. So that's what my mind is doing, is my mind is constantly trying to wrap around what we have on the, end of the other end of the line. I remember my first giant shark did the same thing. First big bass did the same thing, but this, it's just, it's just different just different my heart's out of my chest right now Hold up. that's wow. awesome that's sick oh there he is Woo! Good oh just wait <laughs> Adam, 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 Adam. literally he's just gonna roll over and present no, his like, mouth to you special leader man technique uh, oh, he's starting to get tired Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, see? Look at that tail. Grab him by the mouth. Grab yeah. by the lower lip. Bottom oh. lip or the top lip. Yeah, bottom lip. There you lip. go. Holy smokes. Let's go. That's a beautiful fish, boys. There That's you. insane. Bring him see, let's see that sleep. Dick sharing the experience, baby. Yeah. yeah. Pop the hook out. Pop the hook out. Okay. Yeah. 92? Yeah, let's 92. see. 92. 92? 92, baby. 92. 
So beautiful sturgeon, 92 incher. What a beast. All right, guys. We've got our very first sturgeon within 10 seconds of being here. And I mean, I, there's so many words to describe this moment right now. But what I'm going to tell you is if you guys think dinosaurs are extinct, I'm here to tell you they're not. 120 million years of these absolute amazing creatures being here, right here in Idaho. And I cannot thank Jake and Zach enough for this amazing experience. But this girl gave us a good fight. We're going to get her back in. So let's go. She's kicking. Ooh. Yeah, she's kicking for yourself. Yeah, she's kicking for yourself. Yeah, she's kicking for yourself. Woo! There she goes, boys. There she goes, boys. There she goes! Let's go! Woo! I cannot believe that, boys! Let's go! That was good! Yeah, she got it, sir! Is going on gulf coast nation guys welcome home if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already we do videos every single monday and friday but today we're in the back country of idaho going after some absolute dinosaurs today was travel day so that was a sturgeon guess what we're fishing for that thing just free jumped i hope that audio picked up because that sounded like a freaky car that was it sounded sick. like All someone right, so pushed a moose off a cliff. <laughs> We're after sturgeon, the absolute <laughs> dinosaurs. Yes. That, oh my god, that, that was crazy. Oh my god. All right, and obviously it's very new and mind blowing to us because yes. we cannot co quite comprehend what we're doing. But today was travel day. We left Pensacola, and then we'll see you guys when the action gets hot. We got four rods set out. We got an extra rod now. The guys are waiting. Everything is dead calm. We've had a little action, but no, no major commits. But I'm gonna turn it over to a sec for a second. I'm still, I'm still shaking. Still can't speak right. But I'm gonna turn it over to one of our sturgeon experts that is here with us, Mr. Jake, and he's gonna share some little bit of sturgeon facts and give you guys a little background on these uh, amazing fish that we're targeting out here. So, Jake. um, so sturgeon, they are, as everyone knows, like they call them dinosaurs. You know, they're they're literally living legends, around 200 million years old, somewhere in there. Um, they are one of the oldest uh, species of fish. Uh, they are actually just as old as sharks, if not older. Uh, sturgeon are actually one of the diverging points between uh, the family Chondrichthys, which is uh, sharks, and uh, Achaepenseridae, which is sturgeon. Um, and so they're, they're the divergence of bony fish and regular fish. And bony fish, um, if there's any fish experts out there, you might have to correct me, but I believe um, most of the species of bony fish have died out besides sturgeon. Um, they were one of the diverging points between ancient fish, um, and, and modern day, like teleos and things like that. And, uh, they're one of the oldest clades of fish. I think like the, the next older family you go up to is, uh, um, like Pacific lamprey or Mixini, which, uh, did, are just a completely different game of their own. Like don't really have fins. Uh, not fully developed eyes, just had like sensory organs on the top of their head and gill slits, not full on gills. So, you know, for, to, for a fully formed fish and for it to be like the perfect cross between like a, a shark and a bony fish and for it also to be fresh water, they're just like an amazingly unique species. And, you know, like the way we fish for them is it's just fancy catfishing with bigger reels and heavier line. Uh, but we call them like freshwater marlin because they'll jump and run and, and do just about everything a marlin does. And, and, you know, any hick from Idaho can walk out to the river and toss a rod in if you know what you're doing and catch something in the seven to nine foot range if you're lucky. So, uh, you know, here at our fishery, uh, I would say in Idaho, in some areas, it is a dying fishery. But I would say that we're fairly lucky to uh, be able to experience these fish the way we are. Blaine, kids out there watching right now, they need something to look forward to, some motivation. So what would you say, would you say the people out there who, I mean, you, you just kind of went for it. You found yourself in Idaho now going after just, I mean, you're, you're literally chasing your lifelong dream and you're in the middle of it right now. What's, what's going on? You know, I think, uh, you can't let people tell you what your life should be. I think you should make your own life. I think you should make your own decision decisions. Um, I wouldn't be here right now if it was 
I went by society, I should go to college, ooh, I should go to college, get my degree, get some job where I'm going to just sit in, in an office cubicle all day, and instead I'm I'm practically getting paid to travel Yep. and fish. Yeah, which is my dream always has been. But no, it's a, it's a surreal moment being out here right now. Back country, pretty disconnected out here, sitting, looking at a completely calm river, no wind, the crickets are kind of loud, waiting for a true giant of the deep to pick up a bait and give us a fight of a lifetime. We've already gotten one, and it's just, these are the kind of the moments you take, you kind of look at, you know, the past, you reflect, and it's just... These are victory moments right here. I uh, I quit my job. I went. I have a completely different degree, not in fishing. I uh, I quit my job. I quit everything that was easy, and made an absolute jump to start this business, Gulf Coast Nation, with Adam, where there was no certainty, there was no guarantees, um, and we just kind of made it happen. And right now, sitting here, you know, successfully landing our first target fish is just. It's a victory. It's a. It's a. It's a smile it's a smile on your face kind of thing. And um, to go for it and be so successful is just amazing. And I'm looking forward to bringing you guys the rest because that's just fish number one of this entire trip and we're gonna be here for a while. So I guess that's enough of the motivational talk, but nothing, nothing special here. Just hard work and uh, chasing a dream and a passion. That's exactly what we're doing. Checking in about two o'clock or so with you guys, we are Blaine is, oh gosh, I just swallowed a bug. Blaine is cooking up some breakfast food for us to munch on. We've had a couple random bites, but our first sturgeon, you guys did not get to see the process of the hook set since Zach was hooked up when we got here. But basically the way we're setting the hook on these sturgeon is running man style of just absolutely plugging them as hard as you can bill dance style so when when these glow sticks we're watching the glow sticks and when they bite you know the drag's tight so it's you feel them hit it hit it you see them bounce bounce sometimes they just go with it and hit it really hard and you want to get to that rod and just absolutely crank back into them so the whole camp's kind of on edge everyone's keeping their eyes peeled on these glow sticks and any movement whatsoever is immediate action into the camp getting the cameras on getting everything ready so cooking some food up right now and uh, just hopeful, hope for the evening bite. Hopes are high, morale is high right now. Yeah, it's very high. It's gonna it's be even higher yeah, when we get great... some bacon and some eggs in our stomach. Yes, and then another sturgeon on the beach, so let's do it. Oh, you see? Oh, he's reeling. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him. Yes, yes, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Out of the left rod, Adam, left rod, Adam, left rod. Come on, come on, come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Adam, right rod. Adam, right rod. Adam, right rod. That's it, baby. Woo! That was on cam, baby. We were just talking about that. Tell me about it. Woo! Woo! Got him hooked up. Yeah. Yes, baby. Woo! Still my natterday. Yes, sir. What in? Oh, he's ripping drag. That's some tight drag too. That's a big <laughs> fish. Keep that rod tip if you can. Oh yeah, we got, we got four in, we got that, right? Dude, that is a big, 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 big fish. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's Dude, that's go. a big fish, baby. That's a big fish, baby. Dude! Let's go, baby! <laughs> He's dumping! He's dumping, man. He's going, going! Yes, sir. Where's your phone at, my guy? Oh, up there. Adam, can you jump up there when you get that in and, and go grab his phone real quick? Let's go! Yes, sir. That's, that's it. Up. You get to put the you get to put the heat to yours, baby. Let's go. Did we get that? Yeah, that was rolling the whole time. Hey, I casted that, so you're welcome. That's facts. Thank you. That just got casted out too. That was a Here you go. Let me slide that real quick. Yeah, Woo! Yeah, every time we like, I sit down to have a meal, you get one. I know for real. Let's go. Oh, he's taking. Oh, he is taking. Woo! What you think, baby? I think she's a big one. Oh my gosh, it's the hats, baby. It's the hats. I mean, that thing is big peeling, bro. Let's go. On the spinning, bro. That's awesome. Get that rod up, boy. Woo! Little midnight bite. 
All right, Adam, go in the box for me, open it up, and get me the big light. Yes, quick. Dude, what if? There you go. Bro, it's right there, man. Just for a second. Hold what? The rod, so I can get my cleaning truck. I was going to get you. Right, I, I got gotcha. you. Jake's Jay, got him. Jake's got him. That's freaking sick. Got it. Hands off. Are you shorting at him? Yeah. Okay. After you get all that, then I'm gonna run up and get get in my shorts. Good job. Oh, he's running again. Tired already, man? No. Oh. <laughs> it's just easier to hold like this. Oh my god, he's wicked. Look at those head shakes, man. Oh my god, Dude, I swear weird. this is like a seven foot hacksaw. Yeah. <laughs> he's gotta be hacksaw. Oh my god, look at that drag going. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Let him tire himself out. He's going, boys. I'm gonna call eight foot. He's going, boys. Look at that technique. That is a good scourging, boys. Let's go. Turn his head. Turn his head. Get him coming in. Yeah. All right, Blaine, talk to me right now. What's going through your head, baby? Big fish, big oh, sturgeon. My lower back's just a little tight. Oh, now. the little lower back hey, action? Check it out. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, the GCN shirt, though. Available on the website. Addicted oh. to sharing that experience. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Beat him up. He's running the kids. Yes, sir. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. He's charging the kids. Oh, oh, buddy. He's running. Come on, Blaine. Come on, Blaine. This is the grind right here, baby. Yes, sir. Get a little comfy. Get a little comfy for me. Dude, that thing's pretty locked up, dude. I know that drag was tight. Dude. Light, locked up, locked up. <laughs> I know. That's what's crazy. Like, turn your head for me. Turn your head for me, baby. Talk to him a little bit. Talk sweet. Oh, buddy. Oh, I wish, bro. Oh, he's not happy. No, bro. That drag is tight. I may have not gotten my yellowfin on on spinning gear, but I got. You're getting your sturgeon on sturgeon on spinning gear. Yeah, yeah baby. All right, boys, what we got here? What do you think? From the sturgeon experts. Let's go. He's going over seven easily. Over seven? seven okay. I'm betting eight. Eight? Ooh, right around eight? Oh. Yeah. I'm feeling ballsy. Oh. He's a big fish. That guy? That guy was ripping good? He was ripping that oh, much good. Nice. He's bumped still. So six and a half. Damn, dude, we were both off. Yeah. Adam, come in here, bro. Ooh, buddy. Play, let's go! Oh, dude, look at the colors on him. Play, let's go! Let's go. Nice fish. Beat him up, beat him up. Here, we'll take that. Beautiful colors on Beautiful. him. Beautiful. That's right. so sick. That is so sick. Look at it. Let's go, Blaine. First Blaine. Tight, Adam. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. All right, I'm zero. Six foot five. Six, five and a half. Six, five Sorry. and a half. Let's go. Beautiful fish. Look at that dino. That's a nice one. That's a fat six and a half footer. Oh, mm -hmm. For a six and a half footer, man, that thing is. Blaine, what do we think, baby? Ooh. I don't even know what to think. Beautiful that fish, baby. Beautiful. So you, you can see. So you can see this is like Look at that. the. Look how it's he's like, you know, on, on a person's head, like on a person's skull where their head comes together. This is the exact same thing that's going on here. Is this is where their cranium forms together. Then these here, these are their scoots. These are really sharp scales that they have as a kid. Then as they grow and mature, they slowly get worn down. Now, if you look at the front of their head here, you see these snowflake patterns. These are called the ampullae of Lorenzini. These are electroreceptors. They are the same as the electroreceptors in a shark's snout. Dang. Um, and they that's use that to kind of, yeah, that's, they use that to swim around. And then these things right here, they're barbels. Yeah. This is how they taste their food. Yeah. Right there. That's how they find the bait right there. Yep. Neuroreceptors. Very cool, man. So, you know, Growing up seeing 
Jeremy Wade on Animal Planet go out and catch these fish in other countries and then here I am close to 10 11 years later holding one of these in the states it's a uh, it's pretty remarkable like I can't really surreal feeling it's man. really surreal I can't really find the words to even explain how I feel let's let's get her out then yeah Awesome, good fight, oh, bro. Good fight. Oh, good fight. oh my god, that was so sick. That was so sick. Up right. next? Up next? I'll fly <laughs> out for you, for you now, Adam. Yeah. Yes, sir, let's go. On but today, we are hitting day number two in Idaho. And to start out, I'd just like to just to show you guys some new shirts here. Jake just picked up these shirts for us. And I'll show you the back real quick. Check this thing out, baby. Ooh. I mean, come on. We just knocked off one of the biggest bucket list fish. Very high on the list and an unreal experience. Today, we've got the trailer loaded up the kayak we're doing some uh, checklist stuff in town here and then we're gonna go do some sight fishing for sturgeon from the kayak bringing you some epic drone footage as well and um i just want to say a big thanks to jake man for picking these shirts up bro of course, i appreciate it dude i appreciate it so blaine and i have our shirts we've we've got our trophies for these fish but adam but adam over here he has not got a sturgeon yet so he does not have a shirt yet and I'm very excited for Adam to earn his shirt, but I'll show you guys what Adam's up to right now. <laughs> Just a little twitch. It's, uh, it's been a long day of travel yesterday. Got right to the bank and immediately hooked up on my first sturgeon. So Adam's a little clocked out right now. The boys are running some little sleep, but what's fueling us is bringing you guys epic content and getting on some epic fish. So let's get out of the river. Let's do it. Woo! Yeah! 